we live on the Jim and Jim show today, and we're gonna be doing some major things. I'm on the phone with Jim Chong and and Jim Meyer. That's Jim and Jim, if you don't know. So, um, <laughs> so all my fans, I love y'all. Thank y'all for joining in. Please sit back, relax, and and, and enjoy the interview. Now yes. let's get it going, Jim. All right, where you going? Three, two, one. Nice want to welcome it. you here as we uh, as Jim Meyer says you know what we have to do that again you know can you believe that all right three two one <laughs> no we want to welcome everyone here to the power of Jim and we have a very special guest with us he is known as G man and he is the originator of hip-hop and so uh, if you know hip-hop you got to know g-man sometimes we forget to look at the history of things but there's a lot of things that he's going to be sharing with us here today and so um we are so very excited to start the power of jim this is jim t chong the walk star and i'm gonna turn it over to jim meyer from remax school to g-man let's just get started here we're going to talk about a couple things today we're going to talk about your new cooking show and the new movie that you make. So, okay, so we've got already people making comments. Is that, is that what I'm seeing there? <laughs> well, they're watching. Yeah, they're yeah, on. Yeah, they're yeah. On. They, they make it's a good. lot of comments. they saying good morning. They're saying I'm watching. Got some radio people watching. So, you know, some TV people watching, you know, some major promoters are watching. And, and we're we going to we get ready to have some fun. And we got, this new cooking show is like driving. Mostly the women are going crazy because they yeah. can't see that a man could do this. So let's get it in. Yeah, well, G-Man, I want you to know, you said the magic word for us, that's food, because everybody loves food, you know? <laughs> and everyone loves G-Man, but one thing that might just be uh, better than just G-Man alone is G-Man and food. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this. Uh, now, you, you've got a lot of experience uh, cooking for big celebrities, and a big celebrity can get the best, they can afford the best, which means you must be the best. I, am I right? Oh man, you got see the the one thing about see cooking and is is fun. So uh, so it, it's it's fun. So you got to enjoy yourself and you got to enjoy what you do. See, cooking comes third nature. When I say third nature, that's because you know of course my music and my, me being on stage is first nature. That's my second nature is being on stage. But I love cooking as well, and um, it, it's just it's just it's a history in my family. From a kid, I was sitting up on the washing machine shaking my legs while mom was giving me ingredients to put in bowls. So it just came it came natural to me to uh, go ahead and go and get a cooking degree. But yes, in order to, to be in some of these places and cook for some of these people, you got to know what you're doing. And most of all, you know, you eat with your eyes, so it has to look good. You also eat with your with your smell. It has to smell good, and then you eat with your with your with your with your with your with your, with your taste, and and it has to taste good. So we got the trifecta, all three of those elements. Then you know you're doing something. And uh, and I and I have a lot of fans and a lot of celebrities that ask me to cook for them, and I just show up sometime and in, in, in their houses, their estates, and and I and I give it a go. They, I come in ready to do a show, and before I do a show at a private event, they like. Well, won't you go out there and, and 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 get on the chicken? Yo, you don't want me to get on the chicken because then you'll be paying me double, and not only will you be paying me double, you'll be trying to keep me here because you realize that this brother can really burn in the kitchen. Wow, <laughs> you know, one thing I want to ask you. All right, food is the staple of a lot of things, and hip hop. You know, we know everyone. We we had a discussion about Sugar Hill Gang. You know. Their whole sections about food, you know what I mean, and so food mm -hmm. is always part of that culture. Has that contributed? Has food contributed to your aspect of also what makes uh, hip hop so special as well? I know it's a lot of things, but has uh, food been able to contribute to your contribution in uh, creating hip hop? Well, actually, it's the other way around. You know, uh, I got my my cooking degree by rhyming my my by remembering my my ingredients. By rhyming it, so it kind of it kind of worked hand in hand. But it contributing to uh to 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 cooking in the food, it, it kind of go hand in hand. So it's not one versus the other, other versus they like they both come together. You know, they they both work well together because if you ever notice, when you ever you go to a show or an event, you either get something to drink or something to eat. 
You know, it's so it's always they always there together. Entertainment, food is can, is entertainment as well. Great. Wow. Well, you know, I think about food, and and we we are just hitting at the core of what I'm all about. You know, we talk about, uh, you know, the walk. You know, I go by the walk star W O K, which is a walk. Mm-hmm. You know, it's all about food, man. Uh, bringing things together and making something better. What is it that got you into food, and just uh, what is your specialty dish that you're known for? If you have well, a signature dish, well. What got me into food, like I said, was, you know, being a part of a family with 13 kids in the house, you know what I mean, with a single parent. So yes. mom needed help. So be, so I was always cooking for a large, helping cook for a large uh, number of people, especially in the mornings when I loved, I loved at that time cooking breakfasts because I was, I was so good at doing it and I was so helpful to my mom. So my signature dish, you know, that, 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 that remains to be seen because I have so many different <laughs> dishes. But the uh, one dish I get asked to cook a lot is uh is, is curry chicken and, and 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 jerk chicken. I get asked to cook that all the time. You know what I mean? Now, where does the curry come from? Is that, you know, is curry used a lot in, in terms of your style of cooking in general? No, no, it's not used a lot. <laughs> it's used no the reason why because mm-hmm. when we see my mother's West Indian, so oh, you know, okay. so she was from the Virgin Islands. My grandmother right. was from, from uh, Santo Domingo, and my dad was from uh, North Carolina. So. And I'm from New York, you know, I was born in New York. So I had this, I was always around the, the West Indian Jamaican type of cuisine. So that was, that was ate a lot around the house. So I, so, so people ask me, what all can I do with curry? There's so many different things that I, that I can do. I'm not gonna say everybody can do, but I can do with curry that brings out flavor in so many different foods. So, so curry is kind of like a signature dish in the family, if you will. And do you, do you, um, Specialize in different types of curries. You know, of course, there's a green curry, red curry, yellow curry, uh, or do you just go for it? And do you have a specific type of curry that you use? Well, I, I like the yellow curry. I like the yellow curry because mm-hmm. you know you can see, see see with certain curries you have to, with different spices added to it. It can kind of dilute the taste or be over the curry can be overbearing depending on the color the color of the curry or basically the flavor of the curry or the the, the heatness of the curry, the hotness, you know, some is hot, some is mild, some is extremely hot. So I, I kind of stick with the yellow curries because I, I can control the spices that I add because I always add a, a certain different boom, if you will, to my, to my recipes. It's always a special ingredient that I add. You know what now, I mean? The first house that we ever bought I think we got a discount on it because it smelled like curry. Um, <laughs> what do you do to, if you're cooking curry all the time to make sure that the smell, the aroma doesn't, uh, you know, adhere itself to the walls? See, th- that tells me that someone is using an overabundant amount of curry. You know what I mean? Because any food that you cook, if you use too much of it, then it, of course it's going to saturate the, the the air. It's going to, to some extent, depend on what it is, get into your your your, your uh, furniture uh, coverings, your walls, and your windows, and all that <laughs> yep, stuff. Or yep. just come, so you ha- you have to you have to have balance, and that's the, the key is balance. Right uh, now, uh, another thing is that my my son just graduated from high school, and I think he's finally found something he likes doing he's working at a pizza restaurant and he likes to cook he just started doing some barbecuing he just made me a hamburger yesterday um how do you inspire kids to go and learn how to cook and teach them that it can be a career so you know before before i answer that question let me say let me answer a question over here that some of the fans are asking uh annette phillips asked me uh she said she only knew that there is uh, one curry which was yellow. Well, let's 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 reaffirm her that there are many different uh, uh, types of curry out there. You can you can go into Asian markets, you can go in West Indian markets, you can go yep. in different markets, and you can find different uh, versions of curry. And I and I and I advise you to go and try them to see what you would like. Now, to back to you. Thank you, Annette, for your uh, for your question. Any other questions? Just go on and, and ask, and we're gonna answer them as we go. And Jim, to answer your question. Right. Well, see, some most kids they have certain things that they don't like to eat. Not that they're allergic to them, because like I'm allergic to white potatoes and red potatoes for some mm-hmm. reason. You know, there's some things that some kids I, I don't like to eat. So 
what I what I advise some kids is to find different ways to cook things that you don't eat or to try things that you don't eat so that you can be open minded. And, and once you and usually when you do something that you have this this thing about not liking or not wanting and you try it a different way and you find a way to like that, you don't realize that you didn't start putting time into cooking or creating your, your, your food. And then you realize you found a certain way that you like that food. Then now you inspire because now you want to try other things and you want to do other things. And to inspire kids, always, always start with a food that, that you may mm -hmm. not really care much about so you can try something new. And then the stuff that you like, try to enhance it. And then try mm -hmm. to get you what, what I call a foodie tester. You know how they have test dummies <laughs> and yeah. stuff like that? Get, yeah. a, <laughs> get a foodie tester, somebody that, can, that, that you, can, you can try the food out on. And when you see, when I get to the cooking show, you're going to see we're going to have a few people sitting around. And they're going to be, uh, and actually, I'm going to invite y'all up to come out and sit in there while I'm cooking. And we're going to have a That's conversation exciting. while we're cooking. See, we're mm -hmm. going to go out and make sure that everything is right. Y'all going to see me go from scratch ingredients to full, fully cooked meals within 35 to 40 minutes immediately. Right. That's how we, we're going to do it. You know what I mean? And you'll see it ain't too much stuff that's going to be prepped. We ain't use no microwave stuff. We're going to, it's just, it's just a man. His, his few utensils and getting it done because cooking is supposed to be fun. And that's what I bring back to, to entertainment and cooking. Fun. So what, well, you know, a lot of people have, they have their, their, their focus. Like some people, it's like the love of the food. Some people, it's like the spice. Some, some people, it's like something else. that's a little bit significant uh, for them. Is there some theme that you're trying to stay with? When you cook, is there, is there some level of inspiration that you stay with in theme? uh the no it's, it, it, the theme it really is good food and healthy eating that's, <laughs> hey, that's, that's, that's the thing healthy yeah. eating my, my, my thing is see people think that they can't eat the food that they love without it being unhealthy no i bring a Correct. total twist to the game i use i use i use the i use the the fresh the fresh vegetables i use i use the 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 the, 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 the right spices that's natural spices you know what i mean and before i do any meal or i'm far feed anybody when you have a meal for me I'm always going to make you my signature smoothie. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. That's all fruits, all natural fruits. And you know what I mean? They're all fruits. And it, it's like, it blows your mind away and also triggers your stomach to want to eat. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. <laughs> is there something in the actual fruit itself that triggers it? Or is it just the blend of stuff where you're preparing your body for the nutrients and just good food? See, see, that's the, uh, you, you, you asked the, the, one of the most important questions that a lot of people that, that, that interview, they don't ask. See, what is the trigger mechanism for your body for substance, nutrients, and what's good for you? You, you? See, if you start off a meal with this smoothie that I created, when you start this off, it opens up all of your, all, all of your body elements to, to wanting good nourishment. You see, and then I have a, a special ingredient that I put in my smoothie. And it's, and it's like every morning and, and, and everybody have, I told you get a test, a, a, a test eater, you know what I mean? A test foodie. I, Robert Parham is my test foodie. I, I had him, I got him on, I got him on smoothies every day. Wow. But he said up. almost everything. He loves everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, but, but it's, it's also, it's, 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 it's also, he don't realize that he, he's losing weight and mm -hmm. he's getting in shape because I'm, because right. I'm, I'm feeding him healthy. And I'm feeding myself healthy. And the people that come around and we invite over for dinner and we invite yeah. over, they, they're eating healthy and it's so good. They, they don't even realize that it's healthy because they so they oh, this is delicious. This is so good. I love this macaroni and <laughs> cheese. I love it, but it's healthy uh -huh. eating. Right. And they don't realize it. You know what I mean? People think that sometimes, you know, cheese and pasta and rice and all that is uh, unhealthy for you, but brown rice is good for you. You see what yeah. I'm saying? The, yeah, what, you put in the, what you put in the rice can cut down on some of the carbs that that is actually your body your body is absorbing because it could come out through natural natural you know presence from your body. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, G man, would you mind just kind of angling the camera a little bit more to where your 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 uh, face is centered a little bit more? Yeah, just uh, bring bring your face up a little bit in the the, the panel there. Is that better, but a uh, little bit if you're able to. The, yeah, keep moving it up that direction. And you know, yeah, there you go, there you go. And you know, a lot of the things that that are really significant in terms of food 
um, you know, are, are, is really an inspiration. You mentioned you were, uh, you are uh, with Robert Parham, six-time kickboxing champion. Now, I understand there's a project you guys are doing, this, this, uh, this movie that, uh, that you're working on. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on there? Oh, definitely. I'm going to get into that. Let me answer one more question. Someone is asking sure. me, what is the best one seasoning used on all foods? <laughs> the best, that, that's a very very good question uh, the, the, they have uh, they have seasons out here and like I, I do I use sofrito sazon I use stuff like that those are the Spanish uh, 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 ingredients and, 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 and spices that I use but they have a, a seasoning salt and I say seasoning salt that's not high in salt that comes from the uh, the Goya line. That's it's a saison seasoning. It's a complete seasoning, and it's not a lot of salt in it. You can literally put your finger in it once you buy it and then and taste it. It's not overly salty, but what it do have is all of the spices in it. And I'm talking about like thyme, thyme, oregano. Yeah. You know, it has the uh, 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 rosemary. It has all the all the spices are in that. For some reason, they did a good job of putting that together. So that would be the one season that I say that you can use, and you can use it in many foods. Wow, okay. Well, that's really so now, <clears throat> now your, your your question again was, yeah. Well, um, mad as know, hell. Uh, the uh, yeah, movie. yeah. Just, just the movie. Yeah. Tell us a little okay. bit about which. By the way, there was a post that he put. He said he can cook his. Blank off for real, so you you, just, you, just, you, know, you can bring it, you can throw down, is what he's saying. So, but but you know, of course, uh, we're excited to hear also about the production that you're in. Tell us a little bit about Mad as Hell. This uh, okay, well, well Mad as Hell is a movie, and I use Rob's terms. If you put Heat, The Godfather, and uh, uh and and uh, what was the other movie he used? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> The one with uh, uh, Heat, The Godfather, and not Bambi. Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. The, 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 the. Uh, wow, I forgot the name of the other. Okay, movie hey, if you adjust together. your camera a little bit, there, G man, we're losing um, your yeah, face. There, there you go. Sorry, we can't see. We're missing the face. You're getting so excited there. Okay. <laughs> you know, the... I'm trying. I'm trying to keep it balanced because you know. No, no uh, worries. No worries. Um, How's that? Yeah, 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 look, look, yeah, looking it's good, looking good, looking good. good. Okay, well, tell us a little bit about the production. What, what, what is it about, or whatever oh, okay. you're able to tell about a, it? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it was a balance between Death Wish, The Godfather. That's it, Death and, Wish. And, I remember him he, bringing that up. Yeah, and, and yeah, and in this movie, it's a, a, a yeah. family. Look at your camera. Uh, bring, bring it down a little bit. Sorry, G man. I just uh, want to make uh, sure we get the best side of you right uh, there. Perfect, you, you. beautiful, beautiful. Uh huh. There's some things that go on where. Some people done some things to 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 me, my character, and uh, you and you probably won't know it off the back. You just see a guy that's doing about these heinous things, but he's actually you know doing, he's giving justice back out. And uh, sure. And and my character sends a couple of guys out to uh to quiet a witness, but they go to the wrong house and they and they right. quiet the wrong people. So ah. that bring, this brings in the character of, of Rob. Uh, who comes in now is is trying to look for me, but in right. this in this movie, you know, the chase is on, and, and I, I get to show off a lot of my my fighting skills because as a bodyguard, I'm well trained, and I get to you get to see me do a lot of diverse and adverse things. So, uh, so so at in in all, I I end up living through the movie, and I come back for the sequel because it's gonna be it's <laughs> the ending gonna be so shocking, and it's so much it's it's so much action. And then it has a great, 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 you know, uh, dialogue to it. The, the 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 premise of it all unfolding is 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 exciting. Gonna keep you on the end of your seats. And then uh, I had to the, I had to come up with the character voice for the character. And um, when I called Rob, Robert, you know, from when I was out of town on the road, and I said, "Yeah, I got an idea for the character voice. I think I got what might be right." So I called him. He had a couple people listening at the same time for me to unveil the voice. And when I unveiled the unveil, unveiled the voice to him, oh my goodness, it was just like it, it was like they went crazy. They was like, "That's it. That's what we need. That's what we're looking for." So I'm gonna unveil that voice to the public for the first time here wow, on your show. Really cool. <laughs> Are you ready for the voice? Yeah, no, let's hear it. Do you be able to give it away? All right, let's do it, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get a voice. 
I'm gonna give you the voice, but it, mind you, it was set in tone for uh for for the ladies. You know what I mean? I, I got, you got to cater to our to our queens out here. So sure. it was set in tone for them. So the voice goes a little something like this. <clears throat> Hi, how y'all doing out there? <laughs> this is the original <laughs> robot, and I ain't about playing no games. You understand me? So that's wow. the voice that we're gonna be. I using. like that, gonna... man. I like <laughs> that. What's the I just shut. My, I just closed my eyes. I'm right there, man. <laughs> I know something's like that. You know, it's kind of like when, uh, uh, when um, uh, Charles Bronson. Remember his voice? He just had that voice that just kind of captured. Just like, yeah, you knew yeah, you weren't yeah. gonna be messing. You know. Oh, that Clint and... Eastwood voice. Remember that Clint Eastwood? Oh yeah. Like, make my day. Yeah. Make my day. <laughs> Awesome. Well, you know, there's a blend of all this stuff here, and it's really great just to see uh, what you're what you're able to do here. Um, cooking, obviously, that's I love the the reason why you do it. You know, just, can, just wait, can we get system. back to the cooking Help and me. ask G Man how can we see the show? Where is it going to air? How can we get into the the studio audience? Well, the cooking show is the first episode is being filmed. This Friday coming, you know what I mean, and uh, I got a, I got a dish that I'm and I'm I'm, I'm actually gonna be on there with <clears throat> with one of the the great legends out here in in the world that uh, a lot of people uh, may know. I think you got his name in the in the write ups and stuff over Robert there. Montgomery. Exactly, Mr. Robert Montgomery. He's gonna be on there with me. We're gonna do our thing, and and we and and hopefully the fans will love it because you know I'm getting a lot of questions now. <laughs> just about food and they get all in my inbox on Facebook and, and on, 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 on all my different apps. And, uh, and they, they, they're asking me about food and what can they do with this? How can they get their kids to eat that? Their husband mm-hmm. likes this and how can they prepare it where he, he really becomes uh, romantically inclined, if you will. So, you know, <laughs> I'm giving a lot of advice out about the cooking and, uh, and, and hopefully it all, it all turn into something good. I can't wait to sit down with Robert Montgomery because He's he's a he's an entrepreneur. He does so many things to help so many people out here in the world. And awesome. If you ever get a chance to read up on this this gentleman, you think I do a lot of things. This this man uh-huh. is phenomenal. You know, and, wow. and if I, I, if me and him was to sit together and do business together, one on one, just me and him, I, I don't think the world's ready for power like that. <laughs> That's a lot of power right there, man. Wow. Well, you know, uh, I really I like it's better than the TV series Power. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, you know, it's really great just to see everything blend together. Uh, I'll be starting a series called Walk of Fame, W-O-K, uh, Walk of Fame. I'd love to have you on there. It just seems like uh, you, you, you are able to do so much with what you're doing for the good of first the culture and music. Now we find out about cooking and, and of course, you know, just uh, what you are doing on film or on media right now, technically, there's really no film, <laughs> but we still call yeah. it film. But, uh, but this is really remarkable, G-Man. And, you know, it's really great to see you live out your passion and dream. And, you know, thinking about all the things you're able to do right now, you know, what is your driving force? What is the thing that keeps you going and doing the all thing, the, th- the thing that The thing that keeps me going, the thing that keeps me going is God. I keep him in all my ways. That's why G man stands for God's man. The G stands for God. The dash between the G and the M stands for the bridge between God and man. So I keep him in everything in all my ways. And when things seem to get tough and everybody is, is running them up and they out here <laughs> because of this COVID-19 is, is just, is going crazy and everybody's losing it. I stay focused and I keep my faith and my trust in him. I can't lose without that. I can't, I, I can't, I can't lose without him. Right. You know what I mean? So, and and when I say I can't lose without him, that means that when I have him in my life, if I lose, he lose, and his words don't go back to him void. So it's not gonna happen. So I can't lose without him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I speak that in reverse. You see what I'm saying? So, and 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 the other thing is to see my people happy. I love seeing people happy and enjoying themselves. You know. <laughs> You know, one thing I don't know if you're able to say, but I understand you're also a celebrity chef as well. Are, are you able to share with some of the people you've had a chance to cook for? Wow. Uh, there's a few, some some that, you know, they're very private, so I wouldn't put their business out sure. there per se. Sure. But just say, sure. you know, I've, I've cooked for Rob Bates. I remember the hit song, It Takes Two, Joy and Pain, Get on the Dance Floor, Turn It Out. I've cooked for 
uh, so many different celebrities. Like, wow. And and one lady celebrity is an R&B singer. I cooked. I made her some crock pot macaroni and cheese. You know what I crock mean? Crock pot and, and, macaroni and cheese. Yeah, that sounds very. Oh man, that. man! I am out there in Fairfield. You tell Robert. <laughs> just go ahead and open up the door. The walk star is on his way, and the yeah, Myers so already about, out see, there. See what I what I suggest y'all do is when we when uh, when we do this the first uh, show Friday when we record. Like I said, we uh, we we're, we're taping the first uh, my first cooking show Friday. Sure. Is I'm inviting y'all to come out and be my test foodies, as awesome. well as y'all can bring, as well as y'all can bring y'all show out, and we can we can air it out live. You cool. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Something like that. I'll talk to the people and see what we can get going, and then you'll also hear my music playing in the background. You know, That'd my music awesome. with, with Michael Jackson. I, I know y'all y'all heard that. Y'all seen the video? You know, it's getting ready yes. to It's amazing. Well, I'm, I'm I'm gonna interview you on that part. What you think about the new original G Man of Hip Hop song? Be where you are. Oh man, it is good. It is good. I can't wait till people yeah, we're fans uh, hear and that. Shared it with a lot of people. Everybody absolutely thinks about it. So yeah, yeah. I need an autographed version of the picture, my friend. That's the only thing I'm missing <laughs> right now. Come on, come on. Well, you know, we have a, a big event we're planning. Uh, most likely, it'll be happening over at Big Event Center outside. Perhaps if you're in the area, you and Robert, we'd like to extend an invitation. It's going to be highlighting veterans. We actually have somebody that's from uh, the Fifth Dimension group uh, that is that is uh, that I'm partnering with, and uh, you know, it'd be great to have you out there if you happen to be free. I know you're very busy, and I know you are always into doing good things for people and setting a great a uh, um, precedent so if you happen to be free that'd be great but um but you know i am so excited about just what you're doing to really not sit still because a lot of people in this economy they're just sitting still you are taking on project after project that's really a part of what who you are anyway right and so it's very exciting just to see all the things that well, you're you able to pull together well, I, 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 I'll be, I love to do it. You know, you got to get in touch with, with, with Miss Yolanda. You know, she, sure. she runs the, the, the stuff that's going sure. on. Sure. Get it all, get it all worked out. You know, uh, uh, something about cooking is great for me. You know, I love performing. That's, that's, that's my passion. My passion sure. is being on stage live and rocking crowds. That's my passion. Yep. You mm -hmm. know, a lot of people is coming on here. I want to say hi to them real quick. Miss Margaret sure. Higgins, how you doing? Tracy Washington, how you doing? And Nick Phillips, thank you for your questions. You know, I'm and uh, Edna Stickle, how you doing? And uh, I see, I see y'all out there. If I don't get to all y'all, forgive me. But uh, I am doing this live. We literally are live. Y'all are sharing live. Let me show you. Y'all sharing live. <laughs> we are live with the Jim and Jim show. And this interview is based upon my new cooking show that was first episode be airing this Friday. Uh, my new single, "Be Where You Are" by the original G Man and Hip Hop. The video is out online. You can go and get it. You can purchase the song or outlets. Uh, I got so many things going on. I got the clothing line that's that's going on. I got the new shoe line that's that is being set up. I got so many things that's going on right now, and I'm just so happy and so blessed that my fans and everybody stuck by me through the tough times because I know it's hard to get good entertainment and clean, fun entertainment. But I thank God that he that God covered me and and and, and blessed me and kept me looking young and and handsome. You know, <laughs> but I, I appreciate y'all so much, and I love my fans. So let's let's get back to this interview with Jim and Jim. What's happening? Yeah, yeah. Right, would would G Man? Uh, so is there going to be um, like a, a page or something where the cooking show is going to be shown? Do we know that yet? Yes, it's going to be it's going to be sites. It's going to be pages. It's going to be where you can come in live. Uh, everything is being set up through my publicist. Uh, that's Miss Mac. Uh, Miss Miss Mac Publishing. Uh, she, she's handling everything, you know, Miss Yolanda Mack, thank, she's a, been a blessing, and so we got so many things that's happening, so yes, you will be able to be involved, included, uh, we'll be giving away prizes, we'll be registering you to be a part of the live uh, audience, because uh, with this whole situation, we are uh, uh, attempting to take it to live TV, where you'll be able to awesome. see me cooking during the day and some at night, so this is going to be something that's amazing. And then I have celebrities on the show that'll be sitting around my uh, my G table, if you will. You I love it. Where, where, where I'll, I'll be able to, to uh, talk to them. They'll be interviewing me and watching me cook and prepare dishes, you know, that that that, that uh, they that they like. And a lot of times I'm going to cook a signature dish, but sometimes the, uh, the, the celebrities are tell me what their favorite dish is. And as I'm as I'm cooking for them, they'll be talking to me and asking me about my career 
what's been going on from my bodyguard aspect, which seems to be intriguing to a lot of the men. A lot of the men want to know how do I come from the front of the stage being the star and celebrity to going to the to the to the back of the stage and protecting the star and celebrities. That's just <laughs> God in me. That's the God in me. <clears throat> That's amazing. Wow. So- um, and so the big thing is that even though a lot of people are, are sheltering, they're not out there doing everything they used to do, they all have to eat. And if they're doing less of other things, they probably want a more, a bigger variety in their uh, 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 food choices. So where better to learn about cool new f- cooking ideas than to uh, reach out to G-Man and to watch his show. So uh, I'm sure Yolanda will give us some links. Uh, she is a great publicist. She also uh, works with Robert Parham, and she's got a great uh, stable of, of celebrities that she works with, and, uh, and and I hear awesome things about her. So she'll give us some, some links, and then we're going to promote you as best as we can, and uh, we know that you're one of our I appreciate most, uh, that. popular guys, uh, we've, people we've interviewed, so we can't wait to see how many people watch this interview. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Uh, mm-hmm. How you doing, Brian Fleming? Brian Fleming's a very, very important guy right there. He's, he just tuned in. I want him to know that, hey, I see you, Brian. I appreciate you for tuning in. We're going to talk. He, he got some big ideas and some big things coming down the pipe, and I'll, I'll fill y'all in on that as we get closer to accomplishing those things. But let me ask you a question. Friday, I want a commitment from y'all that y'all going to be there and be my test foodies when y'all, when y'all see me prepare these this meal from scratch i want y'all oh, yeah. to be there with you with you with your bill what time what city uh basically what time what city uh basically it's gonna it's gonna we're gonna I'm, well you know i'm in california i'm out here in swan city just outside of san francisco so we're gonna keep it close by by the area that, that your show is in we're gonna keep it real close so you'll be maybe 10 15 minutes from wherever we're gonna be where, wherever the location will be we do pop up events. We do surprise events. So it's gonna be real close to you. I, I want to. I don't want to give it out too private on on you know while all the sure. other people are, because you know we got to keep it somewhat you know discreet for Absolutely. we can have a private taping because I did that one time and uh and we got out to the place me and Rob and about five hundred people showed up out here and 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 wow. and and it was like wow did we really do that and it was an accident we didn't intend it. you know I was supposed to go somewhere for a quick meeting and when I got out there. I couldn't even get in the place. It was so so packed. The place was going crazy. Police was called. So what time? What time are we talking? We're talking about five o'clock. Sure. Well, actually, it'll be it'll be like about two thirty, two thirty in the afternoon. It'll actually be like two thirty because it's five o'clock Eastern Standard Time, five thirty. So it'll be like two 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 thirty. But I'll get you all the details. You know, I'm okay. Sure y'all get Great. The but we want a commitment from you while you are yep. here because I'm in commitment. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, if it's at two thirty, um, you know, but I will make. I do have other things. I'm supposed to be in another city with a with a, a few things. But absolutely, um, if that's the time frame, I'm I'm there. Um, I just wanted to. Make sure that the cancel time, those you know. other things, Jim. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I said I'm there. Did you wait? Wait. I want to make sure I'm clear. I said I am there. Right. I just needed to know the time. Obviously, you're but, physically uh, going to be but, there. Not but, yeah, I'm physically going to be there. So I look forward to this. I look forward to the. Now you've got some big fulfillments. You've set your standard high, so I'm looking so forward to it and te- checking out what G-Man's all about here. You know, and you know. Um, I will tell you, I love the fact that you're really living the dream, man. I mean, during a time when in the lockdown where a lot of people are kind of the frozen, I, I use that word, you've really accepted this this whole uh, time to really live your dream and really make things even bigger and better for yourself than, than what you already are doing. Um, you know, before we end out, I just wanted to, uh, to just uh, go ahead and ask you, G-Man, anything you want to leave people with as we think about just what they're able to do, especially during these times? Yeah, yeah. Well, b- b- before I do that, you know, I got I got to acknowledge Robert Parham. Robert Parham, yeah, is a six-time absolutely. black belt champion. He's a grandmaster in the martial arts. He's actually d- training me to get ready for the movie that I'm in called Mad as Hell with him. And uh, he, he's a, when I say he's a grandmaster in martial arts, I seen this thing. This man do some things that is un 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 unbelievable. <laughs> now I now I now I totally understand how how Spock on. Um, on Star Trek used to drop those people with just touching them because this man does literally that. He can literally put his hand on you and touch you and you just lose all, your body just lose all sense of, of, of making sense to its own self. It, I mean, 
he, his moves are ridiculous and I'm being trained so well. And, uh, you know, like I said, the movie is called Mad as Hell. You know, we start shooting in September. It was pushed back because of this COVID-19. And since he asked me uh, what to leave people in COVID-19, see, let me um, let me put you on some insight. See, I understand who my angel covered that, that God put on me to cover me, cover me. I acknowledge God. I don't I don't water him down and take uh uh Merry Christmas and put Xmas. I don't water him down. When you water him down, you're watering yourself down. You're losing something, you're missing something. And those that deny him shall be on bending knees one day. So the the the, the key, the whole key is to don't lose faith. Believe in yourself. Now that COVID-19 is here and we know that it's real, everybody's on the same playing field. Whether you got a lot of money or no money, you're on the same playing field. Take advantage, advantage of your opportunity. Invest in each other. Invest in yourself. Don't Try not to go out there and work so hard that you make other people rich and you go home and you, can't, you don't know how you're going to yeah. get your next slice of bread. That doesn't work. Now is the time to start your, your own businesses that you've been talking about you wanting to start. you got nothing but time and opportunity to do it now. There's no excuses yeah. now. So now is it, you, you have to remember, God, he answered emails, not emails. you got to pray. You have to stay prayed up. With what's going on right now, this is spiritual warfare. This ain't just the government attacking us or the Dr. Fauci or none of them that's doing whatever they're doing out here. It's not mm. about vaccines. This ain't about, this is about your testament of time, your testimony to the people, your your faithful and your obedience to God. You have to give it to him. You know, most people don't. They, they tell me in so many places, don't talk about God. Don't talk about religion. You don't talk about God and you don't talk about religion. That's why the world is going to, to hell in a handbag, because you don't want to give the respect where it's due. Just like me. They call me an icon and a legend. I'm on here talking to some people from radio stations and certain things and and they, they want to charge me to play my music. I'm not paying for play. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting personal on this because you asked me the question. So I'm going to stand out and, and give it to you 100%. Yeah. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for me, would, 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 would it be hip hop? If it wasn't for me, would you even be a hip hop radio station? Would any of these A-list artists and, and these, these mega artists that you get on even be coming to you? Because vicariously, they, they started through hip hop to get to where they at, to get to you. So you, you, in order for you to, 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 to know order and to be blessed, you have to know order. And that means going through the son to get to the father. If you can't respect the people that created this platform and, and started this legacy and did the forefathers that brought this to where it is, and you can't respect them, how do you expect for you to get respect? You think because you get a few dollars in trinkets that, that you, you have made it? You haven't made it until you got on your knee and prayed and thank him in, in, unconditionally. That's the word I want to use. And you, till you get on your knees and thank that man upstairs for unconditionally for what he's done and how he's kept you breathing to get up this morning, then you ain't done nothing in your life. And 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 one more thing, and then I'm out of there. You young men out there, stop chasing orgasms and chase life gasms. You live a lot Beautiful. longer. Yeah. Um, I mean, so very, on very Friday, powerful. we're gonna have some life gasms with your food, right? <laughs> oh my God! No, those, those are called those are called taste gases. Taste gases. <laughs> okay. Great. So, Jim, uh, final words from you. I uh, just uh, the great show. Uh, thank you, G Man. We appreciate you being here. We want to support you. We can't wait to see you on Friday. Uh, give us that that address, and we will share it with no one. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can't do that. Somebody right. on, on here, the fan said five hundred people showing up on, on just. Uh, a whims notice. Let me tell you, this is just for these fans over here because they 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 seeing y'all, they watching y'all. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, a, a, a a promoter or a DJ came up to me one day, and I was in Sarasota, Florida. And uh, actually, I, you know, I got I got a little spot out there. That I hang out and I go out there and I stay out there sometimes. And uh, he asked me would I uh, support him and come to one of his shows because I had I ended up at this uh, business event. And I went into the grand ballroom and, and I actually took it over. They were going crazy. I grabbed that microphone and I gave them the business and they went nuts. So he asked me would I show up to a place uh, two, a day after that I was there. Well, two days after. In two days, I got to that. When I got to that place, the lines was around the, both sides of the block. On a Sunday, mind you. On both sides of the block. You could not get in. The streets was like crazy. I got out of the car. And when I got out of the car, the place went nuts. It was so crowded in there. Everybody could not get in. They was outside the glass windows, 
filming from the outside. I have the video snippet to show you the next time we'll air it for the people, maybe, that you'll see what I'm talking about. It was celebrities in there. It was just it was just nuts. It was it was jam-packed. And you know, Sarasota happens to be the one city in the country that has the most by Kappa millionaires. So these was all wealthy people. I mean, it was it was it was so crowded in there. Yeah, when you look at the video, I can barely move. I could barely move. I had to literally mm. uh, perform in a box, <laughs> wow. you, know, you know, and that's, res that's respect and that's love. Now my, my people, the people that is in the hip hop and understand if y'all can't understand what I brought to the, to the world and to y'all as a whole, then I'm not the one with the problem. You know what I mean? I'm not bitter. I'm not angry and I appreciate and love you all. But sometimes you have to recognize the recognizable, give respect and pay homage to people that paved the way for you and where you're at. That's right. And I well, think, like you, you know, you have a, a lot of people that respect you. And if you had too many more, you'd never get anywhere. You'd be, uh, <laughs> you'd be getting carpal tunnel syndrome with the, all those autographs. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I think you said something really important. As you listen to this, I hope that all of you are out there seeing there are so many possibilities for you. It's about you creating them and really finding out your why and why you do things. And it's great having G-Man on here today. And like what he said, you know, just through a summary, if you really listen to him, never forget where you came from and live your life to where you want to be headed to. This is Jim T. Chong, the walk star, along with... Jim Meyer from Remax Gold, along with... The original G-Man of Hip Hop. <laughs> Great. Amen. So we'll catch you on screen, and we're going to catch him in front of the table uh, as uh, we, uh, we experience his food. And later, don't forget to catch Mad as Hell, uh, uh, you know, originated with Robert Parham directing it and also uh, G-Man as well. So uh, we're tuning out. We want to thank you for tuning in, all the fans here as well. Thank you. Goodbye. The power of Jim is a pretty big deal. Make some people 